Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So this is the full review of the Value 4.5 from Cell Allure. So let's get the techie stuff out of the way and then I'll tell you how I feel about this device. So this device has a 1.3 gigahertz dual core processor with 512 megabytes of RAM and four gigs of ROM. Uh, the screen is 4.5 inches and it's 320 by 480 with a five megapixel on the back and a two on the front. Uh, it does have an LED flash. The body is about 9.3 millimeters, so it's pretty good. It is 3G, 4G, and the U.S. has a 1,500 milliamp hour battery. Um, and it comes with some goodies like a screen protector and a case in the box. So how do I feel about this device? You know, I got to go down the list of things that I look at in a device, and you make your own list up, but this is how I feel about it. So uh, this device itself has a screen that I don't think a lot of people would be interested in. It's 4.5 inches, but it's 320 by 480. Now, on paper, that sounds bad, uh, but it's it's really not that bad when you get it in person. Um, but, you know, my experiences with it is, you know, no matter what wallpaper I put on here, this just this screen just does not excite me uh, at all. So, the screen is mediocre at best but this is a really budget device um, and i'll talk about value and bang for buck later on um, as far as the body goes though this is a beautiful body on here i'm not going to say that it's not again the charging and headphone on the top which i think is just crazy i don't know why companies do that i'm not a fan of that at all but it looks very very nice with the silver accents and um the white one, I just think it looks good. It'll probably look, I didn't get a black one. This is the white one. So this definitely looks good in white and silver with the accents around it. So uh, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Sound quality on here is actually really loud with that rear camera. Uh, excuse me, that rear speaker. It sounds really good. Now the camera um, is mediocre at best. This is a budget device. And that 5 megapixel, even though it has flash, the pictures are washed out. The video is grainy. Uh, it just doesn't do well. Um, web browsing on here, though, is kind of a breeze over, over um, Wi-Fi because uh, the 4G, 3G is not going to please you at all. The, but the, the power behind this is a dual core. And it's a MediaTek, so it, that says it all right there. It's not very not, not good quality at all. Uh, call quality, though, was actually pretty, to my surprise, is pretty good. I, I really like it. Um, there's not really feature, fe this isn't a feature rich phone, it's pretty much a stock experience. Uh, there's absolutely no bloatware on here, but they've added a web browser, uh, excuse me, an FM radio, and that's about it, man. That's that's pretty much, this is like a stock experience, and that's okay. That's a good thing. Um, battery life on here is fantastic. I, I, I mean, with a resolution of 320 by 480 on a small screen, uh, you're going to get some good battery. That's just a, this is a given. Um, but let's talk about bang for buck. Uh, this thing is nowhere near worth $99 only because of today's market. This phone retails for $99.95 and it really should be about $20 or so or $19.95. And remember, I purchased a lot of devices. I purchased a lot of devices and I have a lot of devices. And, you know, I could walk into Walmart and get a Huawei device that's $29 and it's better than this and has better specs. You can go get a Windows device for $19 uh, in a lot of places and it's much better spec than this and it actually performs better. So, um, the pricing on here, it doesn't have any value at all. Even though the name is value 4.5, the value is just not there based on today's market. I can get a Moto G for $99 or, or excuse me, a Moto E for $99 and it is much higher in than this um, as far as bang for buck and what it's packing. So that's how I feel about this device. Um, I don't very seldom give very, very low ratings, but this device just did not impress at all. It was not good at all. Uh, it becomes very sluggish, and I had to reset it because I just couldn't get it to keep up, but uh, it becomes very sluggish uh, once you start to wear it down because it only has 512 megabytes of RAM. So um, would you pick this up over a Moto E? I'll let you decide. I give this thing about a 2 or a 3 on the rating scale. It's just really not good. It's got dated software with 4.4.2. Um, it's just not worth $99, no matter how you put it. So there's my full review of the Cellular Value 4.5. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.